let's go shopping for math. Thanks, Carrie Hammer and Alice Wyman. Insert side two. So in microwave mate, I'm just going to flip my disks. Hardware disks swap disks. Return. Here we go. Okay, where do we want to go? Let's open all the shops. Okay, how do I do that? Press A. And capital A. Okay. All right, let's go to each shop and see what we got. We have a boutique. And there's customers. Looks like seven customers. All right, we have to give change. Manny's Bargain Boutique. Customers in the boutique are ready to pay for their purchases, and you get to ring up the sales, but you must make change using the least number of coins possible. Boy, is this dated. Who uses coins? Okay. This is the cost of the t-shirt that the cost customer is buying. 94 cents. And they have a dollar. Hmm. Okay, so you got to determine the least number of quarters, nickels, dimes, and pennies. And the total value of the change shows up there. All right, let's start working our job. All right, 94 cents, so zero, zero quarters. Let's do one nickel and four pennies. Okay, that's wrong. I'm giving the customer too much money back. Well, I'm a nice guy. You see, it should be one nickel and one penny. Yeah, give a penny, take a penny. Did that work in the 80s? <laughs> okay, new customers in. Let's see. Uh, paid a dollar and it's 81 cents. Okay, that's 19 cents change. So we'll give him a dime or her a dime or it a dime and uh, four. Okay. 39 cents. No, I'm, what am I doing? Okay. A dime, one nickel. And then, and okay, no pennies. Zero. Fifteen cents. Nope. What am I doing? Uh oh, we have a bug. Alice's Palace of Donuts is a bug in here. Okay. Zero. Zero. One dime. Shift tab. Nope. That left arrow. One dime and one penny. Nope, that's 11 cents. I forgot my math. It's one nickel and four pennies. Yay. Nice going. And you keep getting more problems. Welcome to work. 73 cents. I just give them a quarter. Why not? All right. So what, what if you do that? <laughs> 25. Uh-oh, three new customers have come to the mall. Boy, is this dated. Okay. Uh, two, all right. 20, and uh, we need seven cents. Okay, I'm going to try to actually think as I do this. Try using quarters instead of so many nickels and dimes. 73. Oh, yeah, you're right. I could do a quarter and two pennies. Okay. I was never a cashier, you could tell. Hey, I like giving customers money. All right, it's 27 cents. Yay. Okay, now I could hit escape and go to another store. Let's see if that works. Yeah, the disk drive is running. Okay, that was the boutique. Let's go to the dairy store. I'm sorry for people who don't eat dairy or donuts. Okay. Moo. Eggs, please. So there's good graphics on this game. We got chickens. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Okay, I need instructions on this one. So eggs are sold in cartons of strange sizes. They want about an exact number of eggs. Oh, really? <laughs> These, those were the days. 
Okay, you must choose the fewest number of cartons that can hold the eggs, and you can't give the customer more eggs than she wants. So only women come to this store. Uh-oh, we're back in the 80s. What's going on here? Okay. As you read the instructions, be sure to look at the blinking arrow. Okay, so four eggs, please. And then, uh, where's the arrow? Oh, it's on the eight. Okay, so you have eight to... Okay, how many eights? Okay, so zero, and I see. All right. So start work. Okie dokie, four eggs, please. So we give you zero, eights. I'm not giving the customer enough eggs. Oh no, I pressed the space bar. I'm fired. Keyboard wasn't working there. Okay, I have to pack two grocery bags so both bags weigh the same. Oh my god. Okay, look for the blinking arrow. Okay, so I see two ounces. Okay, and then you pack an item, you type the weight. Okay, and then you see the total. Okay. We have to make these balance. So what do we do? Five. Oh boy, we get donuts. <laughs> five, five. No, nope. we put two there. And then we put five here and two here. Yay. Nice going. Okay. Oh boy, six and seven is 13 and 14. Could we break it in half? I don't know. 14 and six is 20. Okay, whoops. <laughs> what happens? Eggland dairy. The eggs don't weigh the same. Okay. Oh boy. 14, return six. All right, so parents need to practice this and then help their kids enter the data here. 13 and 7. Okay, then you press space. All right. Good, they thank me. How nice. Okay, so now we got a 47-ounce tub of lard. All right, well, that's going to go here. Let's just do 47 and then add the other 3. 16 and 16 is 32 and 15. Okay, yeah, one less than 48. Ooh, getting complicated, but it looks like the same pattern. Can you just add the, the biggest one? Oh no, eight customers waiting. All right, so let's serve all these customers. So you get 23 and 17 and 13. And you add up to 53. Good. All right, someone new who's buying five items. Oh, this is a good one. 35, 26, 14, 17, 30. All right, what do we got here? Five and six and four. 11 and four is 15 and seven. All right, six and four is 10. Five and seven is 12. Four and seven is 11. Five and six is 11, so 14. Okay, you gotta type it right. 14 and 17. Yeah, 14. Hello? Yeah, 141 ounces. 14 and 17. I'm using the right arrow. And then uh, 35, and I'll put the 30 here. And then the 35 and 26. I'm not even adding here. I'm just uh, intelligently guessing and seeing if it adds up. Yes, it does. All right, good. All right, I want to finish these customers here. 55 is in one of them. Now, is it 1 and 8 and 6? Uh, 8 and 6 is 14, 1 is 15. Okay. Uh, I probably need a 10 ounce there, like the least. 
and then 31 and 20, yeah, 38, 21 and 6. Now try impressing your kids like that. Okay, one more customer. 85 ounces of lard. Okay, 36 ounces of beef. <laughs> All right, to get to 85. Uh-oh, five customers have come to the mall. I hope they don't gonna come to me. <laughs> All right, 30, 60, 51. Well, the 51 should be on the other side, I think. Unless 333 three, three is 90, six and two is eight. No, so the 51 should be on the other side, right? Okay, we can put it here. All right, and then we wanna balance these. So five and six and two is eight. And one and six, one and eight is nine. Uh, Six, three, five, okay, six, fifty-one, and crime alert. <laughs> okay, fifty-one, thirty-two, that's sixty-eight, fifty-one and sixty-eight and thirty. Uh, unless I do eighty-five and fifty-one, how much? Yeah, go ahead, calculator, add that up. Hundred thirty-six, and will that? It'll be ninety and eight. All right, let's just play here then, okay? And then we'll rebalance. Okay, I hit the space bar by mistake. I'm sorry. 85 and 51, let's do a 36. Okay, enter. 32 and 30. So this is how they actually rebalance the weight on the space shuttle, by the way. So you take 51 here, and then you swap a 32 there. So you go here, so what I put zero? Yep. And then you put the 32 there until it balances, right? Mm -hmm. Hey, hey! I served all my customers. And now what? I get a medal? I get paid? Now I get to work more. This is so realistic. Oh, I lost my donut customers. Okay, that, that is realistic. Yes. Yeah, if you take your time in the wrong career, yeah, donuts are the career to be in now because everybody just doesn't care about how they look. Okay, donuts, I'm going in. Hello, bug? No? Oh, I can't go in when there are no people. How nice. All right, I'll get some jewelry for my AI girlfriend. All right, what does she want? Gold? She wants gold pressed latinum. Okay, let's just start working. All right, we got uh, ounces. We have to order 3.7 ounces, so 1.4 and 2.3, right? Yeah, 6.99, yeah. Okay, new customer, six customers here. Okay, 3.8 ounce. So if you're good at certain games here, then yeah, not get all your customers done. So like 3.8, you're looking at this, you have a 0.8, so 1.8 and 2.0. Yeah, you want kids to get some intuition about math. Waiting at where? There are nine customers waiting at. Okay, let's see. Uh, all right, so 3.8 I already did. I spaced it. Okay, I forgot to press space bar. All right, 4.3. Well, 2.0 and 2.3. Yay! All right, four more customers. 3.4, 1.4, and 2.0. I gotta make my paycheck back here. Three new customers in the mall. What's security doing? Get these customers out of here. It's coronavirus. What? 3.4, 2.0. All right, 
Yeah, let's see. Not two. You have too many digits before the decimal P. Okay. 2.0. Hey. <laughs> There's not enough gold in the pot. Yeah, a lot of people don't have enough in their pot. All right. How do I do this? Okay, editing on an Apple II. Nice. Okay, so if I type zero, no, I have to use left arrow. Yeah, left arrow, not delete. Okay, 2.0. Yay. 1.65. Yay. Do I get a promotion? Yeah, you get to solve more complex problems. That's usually what. Oh, I want. Oh boy. Let's get the donut guy or girl. Okay, you got plain or glazed, and how do you make? Let's start it. Six plain and six glazed. So how many donuts do you make and how many do you glaze? So you need a dozen, but if we made 18 and glaze um, a third of them, let's see what happens. 18 and glaze. Ooh, the pharmacy's got something. <laughs> 12 and 6. Oh well. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making too many. If I make 12 and I glaze one half of them. Yay. Happy donuts. That's Krispy Kreme donuts. That's the factory, what, exactly what it looks like, by the way. Okay, health. After eating donuts, what can we get that's healthy? Oat bran. That was just coming to market in the 80s. Okay, let's start. All right, we have to pick. You have seven ounces of oats and four ounces of bran and multiply by two, and you get 14 and eight. Okay, this should be easy. 11, so times three. Uh, everybody's going to the pharmacy. They want drugs. All right, 11, 14. Uh -huh. So what is this, a fraction, decimal? Seven oats is two. Okay, it's just multiples. Seven, uh, 40, uh, 37, oh, what am I doing? Oh, no, I give up. I'll eat my oat bran. All right, lumber, maybe I'll do better. <laughs> All right, kids. Uh, they want donuts and drugs. Okay, lumber time. Okay, lumber. You could play this as a timed game too. All right, 13 feet. Mm -hmm. All right, so one piece is five feet longer. You have 13 feet, and 13 minus five is eight. So let's start. Oh, eight and five. Okay, difference is three. Ah, I see. So you want five. You want two numbers that add up to 13. So 10 and 3. No, 10 minus 3 is uh, so uh, 9 minus 6. 9. Wait, 9 and 4 is 13. There you go. So there's an algebraic formula for that. If you want to figure that out, 16 feet and uh, 
x plus y, x minus y is 2, and x plus y is 16. All right. 16 feet, and you want two numbers, uh, 10 and 6. You want two feet longer, so 12 and 4. Nope, you want 9. Okay, so you have to use the 9 and 7. This is why you learn algebra, because you're going to be cutting wood. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? A lot of wood a woodchuck would chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood. Three feet, 13. All right, nine and four, eight and five. Two feet longer, 22. 12 and 10. 3 feet longer, 21. Uh, 11 and 10, 12 and 9. Uh -huh. And the price of opium has gone up to $25,000. That's from the game Taipan. All right, next customer, 18 feet of wood, 9 and 9, 10 and 8. All right, there's some multi-threading going on here in the code to draw while you're typing. All right, two customers waiting, four feet longer, 18, all right, uh, 12 and 6, no. Nope. Nope, it's 11 and 7. All right, 11 and 7. Feet and inches. Oh, this is so American. Okay, 21 feet, 0 inches. Well, that's good, just feet. Two feet, they add up to 21. Uh, 11 and 10, 12 and 9. Okay, I hit the space bar. All right, uh, 10, no, 12 and 10 is 22. So what is it, 13 and 9, 12 and 9, that's 3. So 11 and 10. Ooh, with inches too. That's sneaky. All right, so if it's not 12, 9, and not 11, 11, so 12, 6, and 8, 5, 8, 6, 21, 4. <laughs> All right, let's do 11, 11, 6, and uh, 10, 6. So now I, I got a difference of 1, but I can do that by going down to a 9, right? A 9 and up to a 12, 9, 9, 0. What did I do? 9, 6 to 11, 6. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. All right, they get you thinking. I like that. I lost 30 customers. All right, number, the number shop. Oh, it's uh, like football jerseys. Greater than 14, less than 20, multiple of five. Guess the number. And where do you put it? Oh, the number goes in there. All right, less than 20. So you got 15. Oops. Mm -hmm. 
even, greater than 6, so it's 8, 10, 12. So you just pick a number like 8. All right. So there are multiple answers. That'd be cool if you could hack that elevator like Jason Scott demonstrated. He sent the video from uh, Hope of how people have hacked elevators. Okay, yeah, this is computer repair. Working and broken. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Microtech QE. Quantitative easing. <laughs> All right, I need instructions. They bring in broken computers, you fix them. You need to study the working of the computers, figure out what makes them tick. They take the numbers on the left and perform a, sign, a specific operation, and you get the numbers on the right. Okay, so example one is an input, and the green goes to the four by a four. Okay, so then you multiply that by four, and it goes out there to, okay, you gotta follow the instructions. That's pretty cool. All right, let's start it. All right, from one to four, if I multiply everything by four. Oh, that's so cute. Well done. Here's your computer. It's an Atari VCS. It's got four colors. <laughs> All right, one to three. Yeah, times three. Okay, we need a prescription. 5% anadol, 95% lysine. It's an amino acid, right? We need 100 ounces of pomidadrol. Okay, to make that, well, you have a 5 and a 95. That's an easy one. So let's just do that. 5, 95. Yay. Now we need some Asmenadrol. Okay, it's cool. They probably made up names like that. That'd be a cool routine, a uh, drug name generator. Yeah, 1585 to get to 40. There we go. 100 ounces of Popolatril. Yeah, see, this may help you in Ultima 4 mixing your reagents okay so 20 and 80 equals 100 that's easy so, so they should have uh, tagc if you want to mix up some dna we will do a dissection uh, show at one point warning <laughs> not for the squeamish all right 60 ounces of sumidadine sumidaddy what no and that's math shop nine served ten lost and there's no escape i escape and you're back where you started oh that's a fountain in the bottom that's cool okay hope you enjoyed it